Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'll be sharing how I made 19 A2 size cards using Pink and Main's Floral Pumpkin Crafty Courtyard Kit and the cutting templates and card sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge number 8. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, it's where you use the cutting templates and the card sketches that I provide in the printable that's available for download for free on my website for subscribers to my YouTube channel. This challenge is like a one sheet wonder times six. You use the templates and sketches to create a bunch of cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper and other card stock and supplies of course. But challenge eight runs from October 1st to December 31st of 2022. You'll have a chance to win one of many prizes from our amazing company sponsors just for participating in the challenge. The prizes total more than $400, so you definitely want to check this out if you're not already familiar with my quarterly card challenges. Now these are the cutting templates and card sketches that you'll use for the six pieces of pattern paper that you select. They are color coded and there are circled numbers in each piece that will correspond with each of the 17 card sketches. There are scissors indicating which cut you'll want to make first, and there's also arrows on each piece that shows the direction of how it will lay on the card sketch. The grayed out areas will be scraps, but before we get started, I hope you'll take a moment to click on that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Now this is the Crafty Courtyard Kit for September of 2022 by Pink and Main, and it's called Floral Pumpkin. And I'll be using the contents of this kit today, plus a few sentiment strips from my stash to make these cards. I will list across the top of the screen any additional items that I use as I show you each of the cards and they will also be listed under the supply section in the description box below. This kit comes with this very handy zippered pouch that holds all of the smaller kit products and then this is the postcard that shows the contents of the kit on the back along with the color palette. You could use this to make an, an additional card just by trimming off the ends to make it fit on an A2 size card. And this is the Floral Pumpkin 6x6 paper pad. And I'll just qu quickly flip through this here. It comes with 24 different patterns, and they are double-sided. I do use that sheet with all the little small pumpkins on there. I fussy cut those out. And I also use the ones that have the leaf and the bigger Floral Pumpkin image. I use those as well. But as you can see, there's some stripe patterns, some checkered patterns, some plaid patterns. There's even a wood grain pattern and uh, a burlap pattern. And I just love the colors in this paper pad. The last video that I did was also fall colors, so I guess that's that's the mood that I'm in lately is, is fall. I live in Florida and it's been really hot here, so I'm welcome in the cooler weather. But this is the stamp set. It has this beautiful floral pumpkin image along with some great sentiments that include congratulations, friendship, celebrate, best wishes, happy fall, and more. And then here is the matching stencil. This is where you can easily color in that large floral pumpkin image. And it has the separate cutouts so you can use the different colors. You can color in the pumpkin. Uh, with one color and then separately color in the flower and then the leaves and then it also has this checkered pattern at the bottom and then here is the embossing folder this has different shaped leaves on it it's really nice and then this is the die set it has one that cuts out the floral pumpkin image plus two dies for a layered leaf look and then also word dies that say thank you. Now this kit also comes with several sheets of different colored cardstock. Plus it has two sheets of white heavyweight cardstock. And then there's also these matching glitter enamel dots in different sizes. And these beautiful sequins. This is an exclusive sequin mix to the kit. Um, but this is a wonderful value. I've been a subscriber to the Crafty Courtyard kits for a while, and I just absolutely love them each month. So these are the six patterns that I selected for this set of cards. These are papers A and B. This large polka dot pattern 
for paper A and the plaid pattern for paper B. And then for paper C, I chose the diagonal stripe pattern with all the different fall colors. And for paper D, the vertical stripe pattern. I'm not sure what that is called. Um, and then for paper E, I chose another small vertical pattern. And then for paper F, I used the stripe pattern. But on the back side of these papers, there's these checkered patterns and all the different colors. You'll notice that all of these patterns are non-directional, which means it doesn't matter which way you turn them on your card. It makes this challenge much easier when you don't have to worry about which way to cut the papers. But if you do choose to use patterns that have images on them that have to face a certain way, you'll want to assign those to papers B and F, since those have the arrows facing the same direction on the cutting templates. So the way I decide which patterns to assign to each template is to look at the card sketches to see if the patterns will pair nicely together. If one side doesn't work, maybe the other will. Now, if you missed my challenge eight introduction video, I will link it for you so you can see detailed instructions on how to assign and cut the papers. I won't share this process again in this video for the sake of time, but I will show images of both sides of each of the papers after they've been cut out. Now, once they're all cut, I like to sort them by sketch number in numbered cellophane bags until I'm ready to put the cards together. And then I take matching colored cardstock and I go through each bag and cut mats for layers if the card sketch calls for them. And then I also decide how I want to decorate each one. Now I've done all of that off camera. So now I'll show you the components of each bag before they are glued together and then the finished card. I won't show the gluing process to save time. And I'll also explain what I did with some of the features on each of the card sketches. So this is card number one. It's super simple. I used a sentiment strip and tucked it behind that little pumpkin image and finished it off with some glitter enamel dots. This is card number two. I used an extra sheet of pattern paper from the paper pad for that back panel. It's a burlap pattern and it was cut to four by five and a quarter inches. And I used a yellow card base and I cut a white panel for that center rectangle where I stamped thankful for your kindness and I added some glitter enamel dots around the sentiment and another I used another small pumpkin image to embellish this card and then for the two little tiny pieces in the top right hand corner those are some banners that I cut and layered them on top of each other and this is card number two for card number three I used two checkered patterns and, and instead of using the oval piece, I die cut the big floral pumpkin image out of one of the other pattern papers to use for the focal point on this card. And then for the sentiment, I used another sentiment strip that says, I'm so grateful. This is card sketch four. For the back panel, I used the plaid pattern and I cut the banner from the green checkered piece. And then for the shape where the star is on the sketch, I used another small cutout pumpkin. And for the sentiment, I used those thank you word dies from the kit and I cut those out. And this is card number four. For card five, I paired the plaid pattern with the checkered pattern for those three rectangle strips. And I added a sentiment strip and again, I used the little pumpkin cutout instead of the square shape that's on the sketch. And that's number five. And then this is card six. For this one, I used the embossing folder on a white panel. And this panel measures four by five and a quarter. And I used a teal blue card base. I paired the tan and teal blue checkered patterns for this one. And I again cut those thank you um, word dies for the sentiment and another small floral pumpkin image and finished it off with some glitter enamel dots. And this is card seven. Again, for the back panel, I used the leaves embossing folder. And then for the three quarter inch layer, I used glitter paper and then green for the other layer. I cut out a leaf from another sheet in the paper pad using the outline part of the leaf die. And I added a sentiment strip that says, you're pretty much the best. 
and I finished it off with tone on tone enamel dots in the top right hand corner. And this is card number seven. For card eight, this one has the triangles and the different checkered patterns. And I pulled in a fourth color for the back panel and I used a yellow card base. And I used a T ruler to help me glue the pieces down straight. That's definitely um, very helpful for this particular card sketch. And I stamped Happy Fall on a matching yellow circle and I layered that with green. And I added another little floral pumpkin in the middle. For card sketch nine, this is the first of two split front cards, except I ended up turning it horizontal rather than vertical like the sketch calls for. But I used the leaf dies to cut out a leaf for the focal point in the bottom left corner and the word dies to cut out thank you from orange and white cardstock. And I added some love from Lizzie peel off stickers to outline the edges of the pattern paper. And then this is card sketch 10. It's the second of the two split front cards. Again, I used another die cut leaf and the thank you word dies, but I kept this one um, going portrait. And this is card number 10. Now for sketch 11, I stamped the autumn greetings onto a white circle and I layered that with a slightly bigger green circle. And I used the leaves embossing folder for the background panel in the orange color. And then to embellish this, I used some little clay leaves that I had in my stash. And I don't remember where I got these. I've had them for years. But um, I also added some glitter enamel dots. And this is card sketch 11. Now for card 12, this is a simple sketch. I used a white card base and a green layer to place the three different rectangles and the checkered patterns onto. I stamped that same autumn greetings sentiment in the circle and I added a cut out small floral pumpkin along with some green glitter or a green glitter enamel dot. And this is card 12. Now for card sketch 13, this is the first of two starburst style cards. I liked the yellow and orange uh, checkered patterns together and I used another large floral pumpkin image from one of the extra pattern papers and then I added a sentiment strip across the bottom for this card but you definitely want to check out that introduction video for tips on how to cut the paper um, I, like I said I didn't show this in this video but I really love how this looks it's just very striking but like I said this is the first of two starburst style cards and so this one is number 13. Card 14 is the other starburst card, but for this one, I turned it to be portrait rather than landscape. I added a sentiment strip that says, I really appreciate your kindness. And I glued that between two of the rays. And I used another small floral pumpkin in the center of the circle and some green stickers between each of the rays. And this is card 14. For card 15, I used a tan card base and green card stock for the layer. The sentiment strip says, you're so kind. And I used another die cut leaf from another sheet of the pattern paper and placed that in the center. This one's pretty simple. And I finished it off with three glitter enamel dots. Now card sketch 16 calls for three rectangle pieces, two coming from the cut pattern papers. And then for the third one, I used a scrap piece of yellow card stock and I embossed it with the leaves. And for the sentiment, I'm using one of the circle stickers that says happy fall. And I layered that with teal card stock to match the layer behind the rectangle pieces. And I added some white Love From Lizzie peel off stickers between the pieces and a glitter enamel dot to finish it off. And then finally for card sketch 17, I used another sheet of pattern paper that was extra from the paper pad that has the wood grain pattern on it. And I used that for the back panel and it was cut to the same size as the card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I layered up the checkered strip onto yellow card stock 
and I used the back layer in green for the square in the middle. And I stamped and cut out the large floral pumpkin image and I used the stencil to color it up off camera. It was super quick and easy. I love the stencil. I will definitely be using more stamps and stencils together in the future. <clears throat> but like I said earlier, you can, you know, use the different colors. They're cut out here on the stencil. So it's just a matter of having your, your, uh, whatever you like to use your applicators or your brushes in and the different colors but i will definitely want to mass produce and do a bunch of these you know if you're gonna get all of that out you might as well do more than one but for this set of cards this was the only one that i actually stamped and colored in but this is card number 17. again here are all of the 17 cards i made using the floral pumpkin crafty courtyard kit and the sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge 8. And then I made two extra cards using some scraps for a total of 19 cards. Now just for information, in addition to the cardstock that came in the kit, I used a total of seven sheets of 110 pound heavyweight cardstock for the card bases, one sheet of white 80 pound cardstock for other parts of the cards, plus one sheet of glitter cardstock, a list of the products that I used for the cards are listed in the description box along with links in case you're interested. Some of these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I get a small percentage of the sale at no extra cost to you. This helps to support my channel and keep my challenges free each quarter. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you can win prizes for entering the challenge. There are five prizes given away each month, plus 11 more that will be given away after the challenge ends on December 31st. You can see the full list of prizes on my website at cardsbykendra.com and you can also download the free printable there. And you don't have to use any particular company's products to enter this challenge. You can use whatever you have in your stash. Now I wanna take a moment to thank my channel patrons who help to keep my quarterly challenges free to my subscribers. This is a membership program where you can receive different perks depending on the tier you choose, starting at just $5 a month. All patrons receive a handmade card each month, a printer-friendly version of the PDF file, plus a shout out on all of my challenge videos. All access patrons receive everything already mentioned, plus early access to my card challenges, access to archive challenge printables from previous quarters, and bonus free printables each month, including One Sheet Wonders. And the VIP patron membership level includes everything I just mentioned, plus a card making kit each quarter, and a crafty Zoom session with me. For more information on how to become a member, please visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. I'll have this link below in the description box. I really had a lot of fun making these fall themed cards and I think they turned out great. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope this video has inspired you to get creative. Let me know which card is your favorite. I'm super close to having 3000 subscribers, so I'll be doing a big giveaway soon. So make sure you're a subscriber to my channel so you don't miss it. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful crafty day.